Have you ever wondered if your psychological state and your lack of focus is a symptom of your dietary intake and not your lack of willpower? Imagine where you could be today if you had fiercely pursued your goals just one year ago. Where would you be personally, professionally and financially if you had mastered the greatest competitive advantage of the 21st century? An unrivaled ability to focus in a world full of distractions. Focus is the most valuable currency of the modern era. To achieve superhuman focus and increase productivity, you must master nutritional psychology by taking three very specific steps. Productivity hacks are only useful if you have the energy to apply them. Your brain is a gas guzzler that consumes approximately 20% of your energy on a daily basis. When this energy supply dips, your goals suffer. It's okay, buddy. You want to go to sleep, I can... You go ahead, go to sleep. I'll... We need to combine proven productivity strategies with nutritional psychology to fill the gap these strategies have ignored. To help you master focus, I've got a free download for you below from the Unstoppable Journal. But first, you must identify the top three warning signs that your nutrition is destroying your focus. One. Despite scheduling your day, you run out of brain power to cross the finish line on major projects. Two, you put off goals that could profoundly change your life because you barely have enough energy to make it through the day, let alone take on something new. Three, you experience mental fatigue on a daily basis, which leads you to procrastinate on important tasks. Thankfully, 2023 represents a new opportunity for you to break through without burning out. So you better not fuck it up. I won't. But first, I gotta tell you a little story. Five years ago, I almost went broke. Despite eating a strictly healthy diet, I had nutritional deficiencies that were impacting my ability to think clearly. Diet plays a critical role in brain function, which is where nutritional psychology comes into play. Nutritional psychology is the study of how the foods we eat affect our cognitive functions and behaviors. It's a field that combines nutrition, psychology, and neuroscience to understand the complex relationship between diet and mental health. For example, in a survey we conducted of 70,000, we found that 77% of the top 6% of peak performers ate a healthy diet 90% of the time, compared to 29% of the bottom 5% who struggled with focus, depression, and motivation. To give yourself a fresh start for the new year, follow these three key steps. The first step is to think of focus and productivity as a symphony with different musicians all working together to create a harmony. If one player is off key, it's jarring to the audience and they become distracted. For key pieces to fall into place for you to focus, you must identify the 16 sour notes that disrupt the melody of your mind. In the free daily journal pages below, you'll see a section that takes less than 60 seconds to fill out. Two key notes I want to dial in on here include nutritional deficiencies and gut health. On a daily basis, after you've scheduled your day and identified your top three priorities, work through this list and ask yourself if you've been eating well and if your gut health is up to par. And we'll dive into why gut health is essential for focus shortly. But first, it's important to understand that it only takes one nutritional deficiency to throw the entire orchestra and your day off. Oh shit! For example, when I was researching my book Unstoppable, I discovered mine was a vitamin D deficiency. It wasn't because I wasn't eating well or getting sunlight either. I'll explain why shortly. It's important to understand that a simple vitamin D deficiency is enough to cause symptoms such as a loss of interest in activities an individual previously enjoyed and the important one, a lack of concentration and focus. According to research, more than 50% of the general population is vitamin D deficient regardless of age. You have a 50% likelihood that this could be throwing you off your game. This journal practice draws your attention to factors like nutrition to integrate both biology and psychology 
into the symphony to ensure everyone is playing the same song. Which is where the next step comes in. Having hefty goals is like climbing a mountain. The higher you aim, the more effort and preparation it takes. Setting your sights on financial and business success is no different. Achieving your goals requires a strong nutritional foundation and one of the most critical elements of that foundation is brain health to optimize focus and productivity. Think about it. I bet if your computer broke down today, you'd run it to the technician immediately because you'd lose money because you wouldn't be able to do your job. But when your brain burns out, you ignore the warning signs despite running that same risk. This is why we combine nutritional psychology with biohacking for peak performance. A simple blood test and a medical checkup are the key to unlocking a treasure trove of information about how your brain is operating. Ask yourself, when was the last time you had a blood test done? But here's where we make a key distinction. The next time you get a blood test done and the doctor tells you that your results are normal, ask a follow-up question. Are my results at the top end or the low end of the normal range? Five years ago, when I was suffering from depression and almost went broke as a result of being unfocused, five doctors failed to pick up that my vitamin D levels were at the low end of the normal range. The problem, I was already exhibiting symptoms. This is because we each possess bio-individuality and respond to foods and nutrient levels differently. The focus needs to be on prevention, not just treatment. I can't even begin to tell you how many people who have read my book Unstoppable or taken my program who have uncovered causes of their inability to focus by following up with this one simple question. The next musician that needs to play on key is your gut health. Imagine your gut as the customs checkpoint at a busy airport. When everything's running smoothly, the nutrients in your food pass through without any issue, just like passengers with valid visas. However, if you have an imbalance, it's as if the customs checkpoint is understaffed and overwhelmed, leading to long delays and essential nutrients getting held up at the checkpoint, thereby causing malabsorption and nutritional deficiencies, which in turn, affects productivity and focus. Medications such as antibiotics disrupt the gut, which is what happened in my case. Gut bacteria produce neurotransmitters, which allow messages to be passed between nerve cells like serotonin and dopamine. Neurotransmitters affect mood, motivation, focus and reward. But you need a healthy balanced gut to produce them. You can improve your gut health by increasing microbial diversity, by eating a variety of nutrient dense foods such as leafy greens, nuts and seeds, fermented foods, and adding a high quality probiotic to your diet. On a daily basis in your journal, check the box if you're having gut health issues. I guarantee that over a couple of weeks, you'll see that your lack of productivity and focus is directly connected to your gut and your nutrition. The bottom line is this, nutritional psychology is an emerging field and the benefits to brain health have been well researched. The most powerful step you can take to improve focus is to download the free journal pages to ensure that your brain is playing the same song so your workday flows to a rhythm that your brain loves. Savior, and our loved ones too.